Hello to you our friends and welcome back to another video. We're going to take a Dollar Tree gold charger plate and I'm going to get some white spray paint to make it white. I also picked up these skeleton arms from Dollar Tree as well as this clear bowl as well. I'm going to take the skeleton arms and I'm going to cross them while also having the bottom centered in the middle of this charger plate. And then I'm going to take my black marker and I'm going to put a dot underneath the bottom so, so I can know where I want them to actually land on the plate. And then I'm going to put the bowl in the center to make sure it is holding it so once I move on to the next step everything will fall into place. Now in order to have this tear tray actually hold the bowl and whatever you put inside, I needed to find a way to keep the arms from moving. So I'm going to take this small screw and I'm going to use my drill to drill holes into the marks I put on top of the charger plate. Now I'm just checking to make sure the holes are indeed all the way through and then I'm going to take my arm, put it back on the front part of the charger and I'm going to get the bowl to make sure it is somewhat where I need it to be for holding the bowl. I'm grabbing my hot glue gun not as a permanent hold but only as a temporary hold. I need it to find a way so that the arm is in the position I need it to be on the front of the charger plate so that I can attach it using the screw from the bottom part of the charger. So now what I'm going to do is um, take it up. I'm going to already have the screw onto my drill and I'm going to drill it inside of the actual charger plate and through the bottom of the arm. And now I'm taking the bowl with the other arm making sure it fits well. I already put my hot glue for that temporary hold and now I'm going to show you what I did is basically I screwed in with my hands the screw a little bit into the hole just so I can have it already there and then I'm going to take my drill and once again do the same thing I did before by drilling through everything to hold the arms in place. Okay, so now that's done, which is the most complicated part of it all. I'm going to put some hot glue onto the hands of the actual skeleton and attach the bowl to this. Now, the picture I saw online, the actual charger was actually like a grayish kind of color. So I'm taking some black and white paint, mixing it all around, dabbing it all over with a sponge to give it some kind of a texture look. And I'm going to also take that up the arms for this DIY. Now once that dried, I did do a really light white wash with only white acrylic paint and this is the final look. Now I'm going to show you how to make this elegant pumpkin sitting on some candlesticks using Dollar Tree products. We're going to first start off with our basic orange pumpkin and I'm going to paint it white using some white Dollar Tree acrylic paint. Now once that dries I'm going to get my knife and I'm going to just cut that top piece off so that it can be removed. Now I'm bringing in my Dollar Tree flowers. They are so pretty and spooky. They've got, got little eyes, they have little skeleton faces, and some actual spiders as well. I'm getting my glass Dollar Tree candle holder. I'm going to use two and I'm going to spray paint them black. Now I'm going to bring in my Dollar Tree skeleton hand and I'm going to put that directly into the hole into the center, making sure to put it all the way down so it's touching the very bottom of the pumpkin. Now there is a big gap in between the pumpkin and the outside where the inner hand is so I'm going to get some old packing foam and I'm going to stuff that right in the center making sure it's all the way down at the bottom so that now I can just take different pieces of the different flowers and I'm going to position them all around the hand while inside the pumpkin.
Now that I have the pumpkin looking how I want with all of my flowers, I'm going to take a piece of the actual flower that resembles kind of like little twigs or something, paint it black, and I'm going to use that to embellish the outside of my pumpkin. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get a little bit of my hot glue, being very careful because these are very, very thin, and I'm going to position it where the piece you see me here, I'm going to put it at the very top so the flowers can kind of hide the beginning part, and then I'm going to get my hot glue gun and put it around the bottom pieces too so that I kind of position it on the actual pumpkin itself. I put one here, one adjacent to this one, and then one in the back. And here is the final look. I really hope you enjoyed my two high-end Halloween Dollar Tree decors. Please subscribe so you can check out my other high-end Halloween decors. And leave me a comment on which one you liked. Thank you so much for watching and have a great one.